Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Spooky Bone Drum. We're back with more Resident Evil with Dead Peanut. Hello. It's now the second episode Sans fighting any more spiders, and Austin couldn't be happier. Uh, definitely. And chances we're getting real close to the end here. Oh, yeah. Once we get to the, uh, the last area, then uh, there's not much left. Like, it's another area, sure, we gotta take care of it, but I don't think it'll take uh, too long to get rid of. Now, a pivotal moment's coming up here where you can get different endings depending on what happens. Depending on what? Uh, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, okay. And I don't think I got the trophy for saving every character from the last time I played this, so I'm gonna try and go for that one where everyone lives. I uh, didn't the, but then that guy got eaten by a spider? Uh, that doesn't count. Ah, okay. Ooh. Barry? Jill, you're alive. Why are you inspecting a grave? I was worried, because I thought you were... <laughs> Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. It's her. Mommy and Daddy fighting again? Oh, I finally saw her face for the first time. Oh, God, it's disgusting. Yeah, she's like rotted to all hell. Oh, oh, shit. No and now she's got tentacles. Jill, hand me my gun. Yes. Thanks, Jill. Okay, let me see here. If you give Barry's gun back to him... So he would have died if I did not give him his uh, gun back. Okay, good, good. But uh, the problem is, if I got that, if I took his gun from him, I would have gotten the trophy for getting all the weapons. <laughs> oh, no. So I gotta make I sure can... that, uh, but he can still die. I gotta push the four pillars in the, uh, the pit. Oh, shit. She's actually a very easy boss to fight. Yes, attack me. I'm fine with that. Come on. Just one more. Yes. And she's not she's not anywhere near Barry. Alright, we beat her. Yeah. That's literally all we had to do. You'll see why. You. What? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> she just she fell to her she... death, that's it. But why? Just because she found her dead mum? Yeah. I mean, she's uh, she's practically brain dead. Okay, so now are I you going to go through that gate or? I'm going to talk to Barry. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Okay, good. So... Now I just have to rescue the other character and I get the trophy for saving everybody with her. Mm -hmm. Whew. But that other one will be easier than that was. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't examine the coffin for an item. Let's go and do that. Okay. Probably for, probably for some lore purposes. Why the hell not? Oh, but I Barry, are you still here? Nope, he's gone. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa, day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given me to me by men in white clothes made, me th made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they oh. gave me the shots, mommy's can, yeah. The shots, mommies can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. 
what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is next time we, when we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when that man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside. Let's look for Daddy together, okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967. Jessica Trevor. Jesus, that was over 30 years ago. Wow. This is taking place in 1998. So, like, Lisa Trevor is, like, rotted right the... Like, you saw her face. She was, like, rotted right the yeah. all hell. And she had, like, the skin... I think it was the skin of, like, people's faces on her... That uh, She was, like, wearing a mask of people's uh, uh, skin on her face. Look, man, back when they said wear a mask, that is not what they had in mind. And we're back outside again. Okay. Fruit. It's the pool. Place the wolf. Oh, this is where we place the wolf and uh, eagle emblems. Ooh. Uh, other one. Yeah, there we go. Now for the eagle. The regal eagle. Oh. FMV time. Yeah, and you can tell they didn't remaster it, because this, this is straight from the GameCube. Mm -hmm. And glorious 144p. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, whenever you... If you have a bad internet connection, you try to watch a video on YouTube and it's the lowest quality possible, that's mm -hmm. what that looked like. <laughs> And, okay, so we're heading down once more. And if you were playing on the GameCube, it'd be time to switch to disc two. Oh. We're not on the GameCube, we're on the PS quadruple. <laughs> Head down to the elevator and into the... Okay. Elevator. Walk around and find a door that won't open in case of first class emergency. Okay. Further down we go. Hey! And an ink ribbon. In addition to oh. the uh, one I have in here. Welcome to the laboratory, the final area of the game. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I used my last one. So we have, we, we actually just, uh, just have three. Okay. Let's save at least. Uh, definitely. And anytime game, anytime. This is making for great television. Ooh. And there's one other item I have to grab. Firearms? No, this. Ah. Uh -huh. It's vital if we want the best ending of the game. Mm -hmm. And let's put the uh, ignorant away for now. Yeah, definitely. And there's a f canteen. So we can light some more zombies on fire. I hear something. Oh, oh this is a laboratory zombie. Oh yeah, the, oh, you're, got you're not coming back from that. Definitely not. I hear him. Where are you? Maybe downstairs or uh, further. Found this. Oh, 
Whoa, there's a bunch of them. What? I just wanna hug. Oh, okay, fine. Not the touchy type, I see. <laughs> yeah, he's coming back. Okay, we're gonna have some problems. So, um, guess what? I'm, guess what I'm getting? Oh. I'm get You'll get a shotgun? No. Uh, oh. we're, we're preventing another problem from occurring. We haven't done okay. this in a while, so you probably don't remember. Oh, oh. Because I don't want to come back here and have two of them. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, one of them is headless, so that we don't have to worry about him. Mm-hmm. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. <laughs> Wanna burn this mother down. Mm -hmm. right, let's go put them back. Hold on to those. Okay, so to the left of where that second one was, there was an ammo, the second ammo disc. One of three that we're gonna need to get the best ending. Ooh. Grab this. And down the stairs, further down we go. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You know, we've seen so much um, shit in this game, it's like zombies, whatever, you know? Yeah. You come back up. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I still I still have you. Oh, he did get up. Okay. And right I back see down. I see this as a problem. I'm gonna go get the cantina. Do oh, was that the first time he got back up? No, second time. Oh, they're getting aggressive now. We should we gotta burn these guys. Definitely. Let's go get that canteen. Soon I put it in a way, John. Yeah. They don't. They don't resurrect right away. A lot of time has to pass for that to happen. Okay. Thankfully. Good, good. And the sooner I do it, the better. And there was two of them right right next to each other. So maybe I'll get the trophy for uh, killing them both in uh, one light. Wood. Yeah, uh, I haven't gotten the trophy for that, so you'll, we'll, we'll know in a minute. Let's uh, put those away. For now. Oh, I put them further up. And I'm gonna fill the canteen. Just to be, just in case it doesn't work, to get both of them. Mm -hmm. oh, I can hardly believe that uh, we were almost done this. It feels like we just started this game the other day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, it's all coming to an end soon. This game is not very long. Like uh, four was much longer than this.
Okay. Come on, trophy for two and one. Yeah! Yay! Break out the marshmallows. Aha. Fuck yeah, that was awesome. Um, so now I have, now my inventory is full. I better go put them away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need some, uh, full, uh, mm -hmm. I need some, uh, free inventory. Cause, uh, we have another puzzle coming up. Yep, boy. Okay, we're full. Wow, I'm almost out of, uh, handgun magazines. I must have used quite a bit, uh, uh lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this next puzzle is a little annoying. But then again, what puzzle, what good puzzle doesn't tease your brain? Okay. Oh, yeah. I just That's remember cool. one major thing we have to do later. I am so glad I burned them. What? There, there is a very fucking annoying thing we have to do that those guys being around would make a lot harder. Um, is that gonna be one of those like uh, get out before the time runs out situations? Or, it's a, it's a little bit like that, but it's not quite. No boy. Enter the door to the right of the long flight of stairs, which should be right here, right? Yes. First aid box. Oh, this Dutch angle is creepy. No, oh, the tilted angle, you mean? That's what the, that's what it's officially called. Oh, oh. Why is that? Um, probably because a Dutch filmmaker uh, used it. Nah. It's the door to the immediate left and you'll enter a room. Oh, this one. So they mean Jill's left. The x-ray? Sure. Sure, Clark is clearing with the boxes and answers. Move further into the room and Jill finds another film on the left side. Memo on the message where it catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Clark David. Gail Holland. Dude, I don't think we need that knife either. Researcher's letter. My dearest Ada. Oh, I know that name. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today and as expected, I came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have become one of them. As far as I know, you were not infected. I sincerely hope Things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to know to get the uh, material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from there. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is running still no running normally, you should be able to release all the locks in the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so you can log into the system using my name and you, my name and your name as the password. You need you will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level two where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a Ruentengenogram. I know you and I'm sure you will be able to work it out with any trouble, without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it's my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank Jesus. you, Ada, yours truly. John! <laughs> oh my God. John. Ada. John Ada. No, 
all named for your convenience. The letter of research on the desk. The western wall is where the x-rays go, and there are two open spaces on the light board. There's a space to put an x-ray photograph. An x-ray photograph is posted on the wall. There's a name written on the top. Alex Betchett. Hmm. Betchett sucks to have died down here. <laughs> uh, I was trying to think of a pun like that. X-ray clock. Gail Hall. Okay. So... Clark should go here, right? I don't know. You got Ed the guy. Fisher. Yes. Okay. All right, we got it. Okay. You the backwards, you can use the... Return to the entrance and flip the switch on the wall. Some kind of switch. Press it. Part of it's glowing red. 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 What could it mean? That part of it's glowing red. <laughs> right, right. If you place them correctly, you'll see the or organs highlighted in this order. The colon, the esophagus, the liver, and then the lungs. If you take the first letter of each word, you spell cell. Keep this in mind as you can as you continue. Cell, got it. Uh, okay, so real quick, I'm gonna free up some inventory. So a very important room is coming up that we don't need to uh, mess with right now, but in the interest of time, because there's gonna be a time limit thing going on, let's just oh take care of it. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I don't think I have the first one. Oh, you need three of them? Yeah, there's three of them. Where's the other one? Appears to be a disc for rebooting a system of some sort. Uh, it's probably here. Levers for releasing door locks. Now, if you can just release the locks on the levers. Okay, I guess we can't do that now. Mm -mm. Head back out to the central square and the double doors in the north place, north corner of the square. Oh, let me look at the map real quick. Oh, that's what they meant by Central Square. Yeah. No, we were just here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How about this little tunnel? Perhaps. Yeah, they said northeast double doors. Mm -hmm. Ooh, magnum rounds. Anything creepy crawly uh, in here? Oh boy. Is there? I don't know. Uh, Bernie's point. There's a computer. Oh. Okay, so the computer passed the username is me. Sean. And the password. Certified, certified. Unlock the door in basement third floor. You need another door password to unlock the data visual floor. Permission denied. And uh, we, ju we just learned it was cell. So, God, that loan sound effect kind of looks like something slowly starting to scream or something. Yeah, like, ooh, like, like something yeah. out of a... 
Like two frat boys, but uh, they heard something. They, they, they heard you got in trouble at school. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quit? Yes. Usually something pops out when I, uh, when I do something important. Variety of chemicals you've never seen before. No, because they're Dang. effectively worthless. I see a battery pack. Can I get the battery pack? Thank you. There we go. Mm -hmm. And there should be a researcher's note. V act researcher's note. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V ax. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we decided to call this ki its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and pr uh, precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and find the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh! Ooh. So the specimen that uh, they're talking about was the one we fought in the tomb. Which what? Remember when we fought the crimson head that locked us in the, the uh, tomb in the graveyard? Oh, uh, that, that was what we fought against? Yeah, that's where they put it. Oh. Oh. Okay, just make sure we're up on the up and up with our stuff. I'm gonna grab the magnum round since they're here. Okay. We're gonna need them soon. Uh, I'm gonna go and deposit them in uh I'll go deposit them in the box. Oh, uh, that spinning fan was creeping me. I thought something was running yeah, through. Do the double door. And no crimsons, because we took care of everything down here. Mm-hmm. Let's go put those magnum rounds away. I cannot wait till we use those. Mm -hmm. Jimmy. We're saving them for a very important event. Yeah. I don't think we need the knife. Oh, I know why we couldn't use the MO disc, because we have to ha we have to have them read by a computer. I remember now. Ah, okay. But what about the third disc? It's it's um it's uh, it's in here. We we haven't okay. found it yet. Enter the room you just unlocked on the right side of the hallway. Okay, yeah. Which is yeah, that one on the bottom right. Yeah. We're heading to the visual data room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this might be the creepiest place of them all. Mm -hmm. Simple nice. resembling a power area is carved into the lock. Wait, it's, did we not unlock it? I thought we did. Oh, I think it's the door. Remember the hallway with the the uh, where I thought I was going to put the ammo disc. I think they're talking about the door to the uh. right by the double doors. Yeah, right side of the hallway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's the this room again. Weird. Well, we can always go back to the computer and lock it again. 
Do they mean this room? Oh, we yeah. haven't gone in here, have we? Unless this I is where the computer is. I can't remember. Oh, we haven't been here yet. Oh! Oh boy. Hello. Well, I was just uh, looking for the bathroom. Hello there, Mr. Science Man. Did he not see us? I think he's just minding his own business. We should leave him alone. Isn't there something shiny he's looking at, though? Yeah, it's like a note. He like doesn't even know we're here. Oh yeah, okay, so we're, this is the room we're supposed to be in. Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I, I wasn't that. expecting that at all. Facts. To sanitation division, attention, manager of sanitation, from Raccoon Disaster mm -hmm. Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the name addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of this context of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T viruses outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T virus and died. It also has been reported that almost all the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-Riders infection. Second concern, our security sort of, uh, that secu secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our uh, research results. The actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first in in intervention officially will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. So they're, they're researching a pharmaceutical drug. Uh, it's killing people and they don't want people to know about it. Oh boy. They're trying to, it's like, well, we killed a bunch of people, but at least the economy's doing well. Where have I heard that before? Oh my God. Um, don't bother takes in my game. Zero out of 10. Yeah, it's, it's it, it, it just reminded me of like how like most zomb uh, broke zombie games, the people are the real monsters. <laughs> Woke zombie games like Resident Evil. No, the monsters are a fucking pharmaceutical company. <laughs> Okay, so what do we have to do now? Uh, pick up the slide filter in the fax file. There's also an ink ribbon in the sink on on easy mode, which we're not playing on. <laughs> so that there's there's item differences if we're playing on a diff uh, different okay. mode. Oh, there it is. Never mind. It's on the chair. And some acid rounds. No, those are incendiary shells. I thought we were done with them after King Bla uh, uh, Black Tiger. Uh, and there's an MO disc reader somewhere nearby. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disc, you could transmit the passcode in the system. Why? Yes, I do. Oh, you put him in there. Oh, Transmitting okay. the passcode seems to have unlocked something, which means I can finally get rid of these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, do I need the second one first? Okay, makes sense to me. Oh yeah, it says oh you can only use one of them right now. Refueling device for the nitro compounds also in there, but you'll get to that later. For now, take the slide filter, head up back the stairs to the visual data room. Okay, well, we're out of time today, so next time on the Spooky Bones round, more Resident Evil in the laboratory. We are getting... Well, let me take a quick scroll through, see how far we are away from the end of the game. Jeez, closer than I thought. Oh boy. I think we have a handful, like, the amount of episodes we probably have left uh, to finish this game, I can count on one hand. 
Oh, wow. So thank, so thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Silver Shamrock.